I think I was quite fortunate in the timing of in in timing to have entered uh, UCLA a much more mature person. I entered UCLA the second or third time in 1960. And it was a time when it seemed like a, a logical way to go. An art career was very a very positive thing. Um, they were building the state university system was being built, each with dramatic facilities for art. The arts programs in the high schools were very, very strong with enormous uh, support from parents. And we had California Design showcasing the work of artists so that we had we had faculty who were supportive, who encouraged us to go into the art field, and we also could see a way of perhaps getting a, a, a job in the universities because they were building so many of them. And then also we could show, have our work showcased in California design once every three or four years, I forget what it was. Um, and so the idea of becoming an art major looked very promising. I met my wife, Virily, at that particular time, and she and I ended up getting excellent jobs in, um, in local junior high and senior high schools. And we performed beautifully, and we were extremely happy. But by the mid-60s, we, we began to think that there was even perhaps more to life. I mean, we were, it was such a buoyant period in, in the history of the United States. John Kenney had, had given us so much hope. And we were looking around for venues of other things to do, because that's the kind of attitude we have. The attitude wasn't to amass money, it was to have life experiences. And uh, it turned out we heard about a program in Oaxaca that educated teenagers, teenage women, girls, young girls, from all over the United States. And eventually we bought into that business and in 1970, much to the horror of our families, we moved to Oaxaca with our two young girls, babies actually, and began a program which introduced to teenagers from the United States the culture of southern Mexico, which was, was and still is extremely vibrant.